What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? You already know what time it is. What time is it? It's Real Talk time. Real Talk diva and diva time. What's up? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day. What's up? What's up? What's good? Hope y'all all are having like a really great day. Doing well. Being safe. Staying out of the business. Uh, p- other people. You know what I mean? But then again, it's cool to be in some people's business. Because then you got you got trash to talk. But I hope you all are having like a really great day on some real shit. I hope you all are having like a really great day. But let me just tell y'all, okay? Real quick. Now, y'all know it's Monday, okay? And, um... I was so excited about this whole solar eclipse. Like, straight up, I was excited. You know, I live in Arizona, so Texas is right next door. So I'm thinking we're going to get some type of darkness. You know, I know we ain't going to get the totality of of it like Texas got. But, like, damn, I thought we was going to get, like, 80%. Girl, I think we got, like, 20%. All I know is the dog started barking real crazy outside. It got, like, a little bit of cloudy. My Wi-Fi stopped stopped working. And, you know, saying, like, that was it. I was like, oh, hold the hell up. What's going on? You you mean to tell me that I got excited for nothing? Like, I'm glad I didn't buy no glasses, girl. I'm glad I didn't didn't look up to the sun, but I really did get excited, but for nothing, because like I didn't see nothing happening, nothing. Okay, when I tell y'all nothing, I mean nothing. All right, I'm. I was like, yeah, I was really, I was really, really excited until so, like I'm, I'm like looking out the window as I'm doing my video for my wig review. I'm like, well, when's it gonna get dark? When's it gonna get dark? Why is these dogs barking? Is it about to rain? Is it about to rain? Then I realized and I looked on YouTube. Yeah, like it was getting dark in Texas, but it damn sure didn't do a daggone thing here. You know, like all these astrologists and and people in NASA, they said it was gonna be like 80 percent totality in Arizona. Lies, one nothing totality over here. Okay, but no darkness or nothing. But I will tell y'all this. Okay, I, I know y'all gonna be proud of me. Okay, listen. So I took my ass to the dentist on Friday. Okay, I did what I was supposed to do. I went in. Tati came with me. They gave me some numbing gel before they put that numbing needle in my mouth. And girl, they numbed me up four times. When I tell you that I ain't feel a damn thing, I was I was scared. I ain't even gonna lie, I was scared. And where I was at, in the room that I was in, it had like a gla- it had like a glass door and a big ass glass window. Girl, you can see in the parking lot. And the thing that I saw was my car. Girl, I was ready to run out that door. If it wasn't locked, I would have ran out that door. But girl, let me tell you, it was so easy. They gave me the needle four times, three times first. And then when the, the dentist was like, we're gonna wait 10 minutes, let it really work in. Now she real cool. She a real pleasant um dentist. I like her a lot. She real like, she just personable, okay? And when she came back, it was like 15 minutes. And I was like saying to Tati, I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna need another um, needle because I really, um I, she it's longer than 10 minutes. I'm gonna need her to just redo this because I don't wanna feel nothing. So when she came in, you know, she came back in, she was like, are you ready? And I was like, oh wait, hold up. Am I ready? I, I don't really know. But um, can you just numb me up one more time just to be on the safe side? But she was like, yeah. So when she put the needle in, she was like, you feeling anything? I was like, I don't feel nothing. She was like, oh, you really good. So I was good. She said, you're going to feel nothing but pressure, no pain. Girl, it took her like like a minute to pull out the root of my t- tooth. And that was it. That It was like, that was it. Bang, bang. Thank you, man. That was it. I was like, you mean to tell me, Abe, you was that scared for all this time? But you know, like I said, that last experience that I had with them took them four hours to get out my wisdom tooth in the back. And they kept breaking it in pieces in four hours. And they numbed me eight times. They couldn't do no more. Had to call another dentist in from the office to come get it out. That was the worst experience experience of my life when I tell you okay so I'm I really was thinking that it was going to be like that situation because I already had a root canal so all I had was a little piece of a rice grain of a tooth you know they shaved my tooth down they put the crown over it so I really felt like after the crown broke off and it broke my little piece of tooth off y'all gonna have to really like cut my gums she didn't have to cut my gums or anything but let me tell y'all okay let me just tell y'all that shit made me feel really nauseous for like two days because I had to take um, antibiotics. I had to take like these pain pills, like was like extra strong. Girl, I was like out of the weather. I was out of it. You know, I ate soft foods. So now it's healing. Girl, I was so mad with myself. Like, girl. But you know, bad experiences will be trauma. They will haunt you, girl. They will haunt your ass. So yeah, that it was. It, that 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 was a piece of cake. I'm I'm happy I did it. Um, missing my little piece of tooth back there because I'm gonna tell y'all, I ain't got no damn wisdom tooth back there. I ain't got no damn molar tooth. Back there. I think I'm missing like three pieces on the side, three or four teeth on the side. I ain't even gonna show y'all because y'all will be like, girl, bitch, where your mouth at? Where your teeth at? So now I'm gonna go and get um partials. You know, the little partials. It's not like full dentures, but it's a partial. It got, it's gonna have like three teeth on it. That's what I'm gonna have to go and get. I'm getting that made, girl. It sucks when you lose your teeth. You know, I really would like to afford implants, you know what I'm saying? But it really sucks when you lose your teeth. 
and I don't know if it's um it's not bad dental hygiene because I've always went to the dentist as a kid and I've had good teeth but as I gotten older I don't know if it's because I had all these kids or bone marrow but yeah my teeth break off really easy um my mom has like a disease uh periodontist I think it's called I'm not really sure if that's how you say it but you know I think that's her hereditary but girl look I ain't trying to be losing none of my teeth you know what I'm saying I'm y'all already know I've, I've been through a lot with my teeth so girl yes girl yes but I'm very happy that I got that done in case y'all are wondering about the wig that I'm wearing today it is an RPG show wig it is one of their newest wigs with their new um caps wig it's glueless it's totally glueless so you know what I'm saying I don't need to spray anything down but the way the lace molds to your your hair your head girl you don't need girl when i tell you it's flapping down and then i use my favorite edge control on the side now y'all see that video that i did like a couple of weeks ago it was by this company called argo they sent me some hair filler fibers they sent me some glue and they sent me some edge control now this edge control i will tell you i swear by this edge control this stuff is not greasy like others when i tell you i don't have to put no other gel on but this this had my ponytail slicked down for like three four days like the edges the rest of my hair when i woke up was all over the place but my edges was just right there they was on like a helmet and it's not hard, but it doesn't get hard. Your edges don't get hard, but this stuff really, really works. Like, I swear by this. And y'all know I don't never put no edge control on my sideburns when I'm doing my wig, but this stuff is a miracle. Like, this is the edge control to get, baby. Get this. Get this. But other than that, I'm trying to think what else. There was something else I had to tell you guys. Oh, now, I know I had like a few people emailing me asking me where the link was for the baby registry for my daughter-in-law. And I do apologize. I did say like two weeks ago that I was going to pop it in the link, but I really honestly did not get around to it until this past weekend because I had like four emails over the past two weeks asking me where the link was, when I was I, when was I going to post the baby registry link up. So I do apologize. It is now up. I will share the link with you guys and everything on that link, you know, if you want to donate to her baby shower please do so i do not put expensive things on there because listen if you can give if you can purchase something for her baby it's very much appreciated but i don't be trying to go all out and, and get like expensive stuff you know what i'm saying if i wouldn't buy it i don't expect anybody else to spend any money on it so i got a little essentials like undershirts diapers i think like diapers is like the main important thing and maybe like some onesies or just like you know body products like lotions and diapers i think diapers is important for everybody you know what i'm saying and i, I have all different diaper brands on there well not all because girl i didn't put no huggies up on there because Huggies is not cheap, okay? So I have like the Amazon brand diapers, which are really great. You know, we use those for my granddaughter. I have the Loves. Those are the two cheap brand diapers, which work really good. And I have the actual Amazon brand baby wipes because we've been using those since my granddaughter's been born and they work perfectly fine. I'm not into like the name brands. I'm, I'm just really, really not. So like I said, I will post the link for her Amazon baby registry down below. You will see items that are like double like onesies oh why do you have that I, I have multiple sizes and they might be the same color because they're just onesies you know what i'm saying they're gonna wear them under their clothes so i would appreciate if everyone took a look at her baby registry i'm just trying to help my daughter out my daughter-in-law out the best that i can next month she's going to become a single mother and it's unfortunate you know i did state to you guys that my son is going to be going to prison or to the feds for like a three to four year term over some dumb shit that he did and i already told him he shouldn't have done it but you know at, i guess this you know what i feel like when your own kids get like a certain adult age they feel like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You can't tell them what to do. They listen, but they don't listen. And I think that's, I don't think I know that's what he did because I kept telling him, don't go doing it. Don't go doing it. Don't go doing it. I understand you want to provide for your family. I understand you want to take care of your family, but there are certain ways to go and do it. You maybe have to get an extra job. You maybe have to get a better job, but the way that you tried to take the shortcut way out of it didn't work out for you. And I've been told you that you're too old to do dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to leave that for the youngsters. And I really wouldn't recommend leaving that for the youngsters neither. But when you get a certain age, you should be mature enough to realize like certain shit you don't do so because of the dumb shit that he's done did you know he's gonna not only be leaving her but he's gonna be leaving three children plus the one that's on the way so she has never had to experience being a single mother because they've been together since they've been like 15 years old and so now is when she's going to realize what it's like to be a single mother and unfortunately her mother does not live in arizona she lives in georgia not atlanta but on the outskirts of Georgia, like by army base, it's like a really small town where there's really nothing. They like it there. They've moved there probably like a year now. So 
I'm all she has. And I'm going to do my best to help her out, you know. But if you guys can give to her baby shower, I would really, really appreciate it. I will link it down below. And I'll also leave it in my community tab. You know, she doesn't know that I'm doing this. So I'm just trying to be helpful. And we can surprise her with some things that she can use for her baby. You know what I'm saying? Anything helps. And I appreciate you guys just listening to me. And I appreciate you guys doing this for my granddaughter. And I'm asking you just one more time to help me out with this baby shower for her. And let's come together as a family and friends and just help one another out. That's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here for. So I will link it down below for my daughter-in-law. Now, there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys, but I really can't remember. I know it was about my tooth because I was really excited to tell you guys that I did tell you guys about the solar eclipse that I was pissed off about. Um, Jeez, I hate when I can't remember something. I really hate when I can't remember something. Well, you know, hopefully I will remember it sooner than later, okay? But, um... Yes, getting ready for prom for Mumsy. Mumsy gonna have me put on a lace front. So I don't know if I'm gonna put her on this lace front or um, my other new one from Wild African that I got. Um, but she want a lace front on. So, you know, I'm excited about that. I ain't never seen Mumsy in no wig before, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna show you what she, what she look like. She got this really pretty dress. I cannot wait to show you guys. Prom is on April 27th. So Tati will be doing her makeup. I'll be doing her hair. And yeah. I'm, I'm just really excited for her. I'm very, very excited. But I'm also so nervous because I don't want to have her dancing on the floor and her, her wig lift up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I got to make sure I do my best, the best of the best of the best, okay? But, you guys, y'all already know what time it is. It's Real Talk, so let's get into this Real Talk. Uh, there was really something that I wanted to share with you guys, but I really cannot remember. What the fuck was it? I don't even know, y'all. But, okay, so, if I can't remember, hopefully I'll remember before this video is over. But... Like I was saying, this is real talk time. If you want a real talk, you can go ahead and send me an email to Muffin Is My Lovers at Muffin Is My Lovers 2012 at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line real talk, or you can also use April's Real Talk at gmail.com and please put it in the subject line real talk so that I know it is a real talk email. And if you want to change your name in the email, please go ahead and let me know that. If you have not, I may or may not change it for you. Just depends. But let's get into this real talk, you guys. Okay, so y'all know I got my water on hand because my mouth begins dry as hell, okay? So her subject, she did put being bullied. Okay, this is what she's calling it, being bullied. So let's get into this. Good morning, Miss April and divas and divos. Firstly, Miss April, I want to thank you for all you do. May God continue to bless you and your family. And I receive that and I thank you as same as goes to you and your family as well. I do apologize in advance if this appears long, but I really need someone to talk to. My name is Angel. I'm a 32-year-old Hispanic black woman living in New Jersey all of my life. I have no kids, recently married after finding the man of my dreams a few years ago. This is not about him, but about where I am employed at. I work for Target and have been for a few years now. That is actually where I met my husband. He was a frequent shopper at the Target where I work. So we have this one assistant manager. You can call her Anna. Anna has been working for Target for quite some time. She transferred from another location, which is about 30 minutes away from the one that I work. I'm not really sure why she transferred, but from what I was told by other co-workers, it was due to her attitude. Anna is probably about in her late 40s, and she is a as well a sister like myself. Now, my role at Target is team lead supervisor. She's assistant manager for the day shift, which I work. When Anna started working at our Target, she was kind, very approachable, and got along with everyone. At the time, she was not assistant manager. She was just a shift lead supervisor, and then I got promoted as well as she got promoted. She's been assistant manager for about two years now, and it has been the worst two years of my life, I swear. Anna does nothing but boss people around, barely works herself, always goes on her phone. Everyone is always complaining about her and her attitude. 
She has talked down on me numerous times, says I'm slow moving. Maybe if I lost a few pounds and walked through the store more often, I would know more about where to find stuff. Says things like, why did they even promote me to shift lead? Because it's like leading the blind. She has gotten in my face due to me being late one day because I had an appointment, which I had already had half the day off of for. My appointment ran a little longer. I informed the store I would be a little late. But when I came in, she was in my face yelling and saying I could have taken the entire day off. Why would I even bother? During meetings, she blames me for everything, never taking accountability for anything. This woman barely does anything. She's constantly screaming and yelling at coworkers and embarrassing coworkers in front of customers. She has threatened to take my vacation request away if sales during certain days do not pick up in the store. April, I put in a request for vacation for July to go back and visit family, and now she is threatening to take it away from me if sales do not pick up. She is constantly blaming me for the store theft, stating I need to do something about the so-called patrons stealing from us. It's my fault they are getting away and out of the store. During my breaks and lunches, she is constantly calling me over the loudspeaker, making me lose my time threatening to get me fired if I do not live up to her standards. No one working my shift likes her, and I'm so tired of her talking to me sideways, but it's my job. I cannot afford to lose it. I have spoke to my husband, and he has told me do not allow anyone to disrespect me. But April, I honestly do not know what to do at this point. What would you do, someone? Please help me. Angel. First of all, I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would come up in my face that we work together and try to be loud with me. What would I do? I would have been put her in her place. Let me tell y'all. Now, I don't, I don't know if I, I've shared this story with y'all before when I got fired from Fidelis, but I don't allow anybody to talk to me any type of way. And that's the reason why I got fired because you're not about to talk to me like I ain't shit, okay? Screaming in my face. That's what happened. And then when I had to go off on a motherfucker, about a couple months later, I got fired. A bitch don't care. You can get another job. Can you get self respect? Listen, let me tell you something. If you want respect, you give respect. And I don't give a damn if she's shift leader, if she owns target if she is the ceo of target if she make the products for target there's no way on god's green earth am i going to allow anybody to talk to me any old type of way i wouldn't give a damn if you was my mama you do not disrespect me okay second of all the disrespect is real did she really tell angel she told angel if she would look hold on because i don't want to put words in her mouth i don't really want to go back to where she said it she said she does nothing but boss people around barely works herself always on her phone complaining people always complaining about her attitude she has talked down on angel several times numerous times saying i'm slow moving maybe if i lost a few pounds and walked through the store and was able to find more stuff I, girl let me tell you something i wish a motherfucker would tell me if i lost a few pounds first of all you at work you need to get her ass fired what should you do girl you should put your foot in her ass okay no i'm not gonna promote violence but i wouldn't allow her to be talking to me like that your husband is right why do you allow people to disrespect you it's a job i understand people's jobs are real important to them and you need the money but do you need the disrespect there's no way that i would want to go somewhere every day and be miserable and that's where i gotta i gotta be for like eight to ten to twelve hours a day to make money there's no way i would want to be at work that's how i started feeling when i was at fidelis okay until i stopped really giving a fuck okay there's no way that i'm gonna go to work every day and be bullied by somebody let me tell y'all i used to get bullied in high school okay not even just high school, throughout junior high school. Freckle face, pissy yellow, Medusa. They would call me all kind of names, and I would just allow them to do this shit to me. When I was probably in the 10th grade, it was either the 9th or the 10th grade, I remember, I'll never forget, and I think I told you guys this before. I was in one of my classrooms, and I went to Flushing High School, okay? And in our classroom, we had a front door, we had a back door to this one classroom. Not all classrooms were equipped with two doors, but this one particular room did, and there really wasn't a lot of students in that room. I'll never forget, this one girl from the back, she can't fucking throw um shooting spitballs through a straw at me now first of all i really didn't bother nobody and i think that was the, the issue with me like I, I i wasn't rowdy i wasn't um volatile i wasn't um i just didn't stand up for myself let's just put it like that i just didn't stand up for myself when i was in grade school high school i just didn't and um and, I, and I'm not really sure why, but I just didn't. I, maybe I was scared. But this one girl, she just kept fucking spitting through the straw spit, uh, spitballs at me, right? So I got up and I walked out the door, the classroom door. When I came back, I walked, I went upstairs to get my cousin and out of her classroom. When we came back, we went through the back door because that's where she was sitting at. Girl, when I tell you the ass whooping was real, the ass whooping was motherfucking real, okay? I had to go get my cousin because I needed a little backup. You know, that was like my first fight, fight, fight. And ever since then, I have never allowed anybody to bully me. I think that 
after that, I kind of really went on like a rampage. And it wasn't even a rampage, but the next person that said something smart called my mama a crackhead, this is when I had to cut his ass in class. So I'm not saying go cut the bitch, but it does not feel good being bullied by anybody. And I got tired of being bullied. All my life, I was bullied, okay? And even when I was an adult, people tried to bully me, but they realized, oh, this bitch is not the one to bully. You know what I'm saying? So when you're an adult, when you're a child, it's not cool to bully anybody. We, as adults, we have to definitely stand up for ourselves. And we have to teach our children to do the same thing. And we also have to teach our children that it's not cool to bully. But when you have an adult as a bully, girl, that's when it's time to get the, the gloves on. Like, straight up, adults really should not be bullied. As an adult, you should not be bullying no fucking body. Just because you got a little bit of title, because this is what the fuck it is, a little bit of title as assistant manager of fucking Target. You are a manager, assistant manager of Target because you do the work that nobody else wants to fucking do. And that's what I would let the bitch know. You are assistant manager because you do the work that nobody else wants to fucking do. And I would handle her the same way she handled me. The same way she talked to you is the same way that I would talk to that bitch, okay? She ain't getting nobody fired. All this stuff that she say to you, girl, I would be recording her ass. I would take out my phone right there and record her in her face and let her know I'm recording you. So go ahead and threaten me if you want to, because I could bring this up to the higher ups, okay? Let's keep on with the threats. Let me tell you something. We as women, we as an adult, we need to stand up for ourselves. I'm not saying you got to go to work with your gloves on and start whooping ass, but honey, your, your husband is right, angel. Don't be an angel at work, okay? Honey, let, 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 let's see what you really can do. Let's hear them lungs. Let's hear those vocals, okay? It's one thing when you have a manager or a supervisor. And I'm going to just say this. And this is my experience. When I was working at Fidelis, like I told y'all before, me and the young lady, we were friends. She was a marketing rep at the time, and I was a marketing rep. We became really good friends. She became a supervisor. This is when she started running her mouth, okay? And this is one thing that I don't like. And I'm, I'm not only just experienced that at Fidelis, but I've experienced that here when I worked a job 10 years ago for the Senior Citizens um, Community Center. They were all women bosses in the office. I don't like to work for women who have a title like supervisor or manager. And for those of you who are watching who are and you are not this type of person, then please don't take this personal. But some of some women, when they get a little fucking title that supervisor or assistant manager, assistant janitor, they feel like they are the gods of the store and they feel like they can talk to you any type of way. And I'm not sure if you're here for it, but I'm definitely not here for it. And I don't give a damn. I don't give a rat's ass who you are, what your title is. You are not going to disrespect me because just the same way that I got this job, bitch, I can get another motherfucking job. And if you think that that you can get me fired, bitch, I'll get you fired way before you get me fired. And if you think you're going to tell me to lose weight, bitch, I'm going to put my fat ass foot up your ass and we're going to see how much weight I need to lose, okay? That's what I would have done, okay? And I'm the same person as I've always been when it comes to a job. You do not disrespect me and I will not disrespect you. If you do not talk down to me, then I will not talk down to you. But I am not going to go somewhere every day and be bullied by somebody that is a title that might be a little bit more than mine. Bitch, I wouldn't give a fuck if you own Target and you was the CEO of Target. You're not about to talk to me any old type of way. And that's a fact for sure. Okay? Hmm. So the next time that Anna opened her mouth to you, which seems like it's an everyday thing, Angel, show her you got another side to you. Show her you really not that angel that she assumes you are. And let her have it. Because as long as you allow someone to bully you and talk down to you and push you around and get over you and walk all over on you, they're going to keep doing it. That's, that's all there is to it. And it sucks. When you an adult and you treat somebody like the way that she's treating you, they will continuously do that shit until you put a stop to it. And your husband is right. Stop allowing people to disrespect you. As a grown ass woman in your 30s, no way. I get it. You need your job. I think there's a lot of people out here that need their jobs. You know, prices are high. The economy is going bad. We all need our jobs. And sometimes a job could be really hard to find, especially depending on where you live. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. This is what I would do also. Like I said, I would take my phone out and I would record her. I would record the way she's speaking to me. I would record the way she's speaking to others. You know what I'm saying? I would record the meeting that we're having and I would record everything. I would write it down. But best of all, I would definitely record this because this is like your proof proof right there. And I don't understand why if everybody in Target is complaining about how this one daytime manager is, why don't you guys all band together? Come together, have your own meeting without her. You don't have to meet in Target. You guys can meet outside of Target. You guys can meet over someone's house and put a plan together to get her effing fired. Now, this is probably the reason why she got transferred from another store because of her attitude. Let me tell you something. 
it's sad when it be your own people that try to talk shit to you and put you down. That's the part that really, really hurt. But it's sad when it's another woman. It don't matter what race you are, but if you are another woman and you're doing this to another woman, it's sad and it sucks and it's unfortunate. But in this day and age, this is why they make devices where you can record. This is why they make devices where you can show proof, okay? You send them shit. You show them in a meeting. Hey, go to the higher ups. Go to the person who's above her. And if that person is not doing anything, honey, there's corporate corporate. I love to bring things to corporate. I had to do this one time for McDonald's down the street from me because there was this one manager there. She was a daytime manager and she would not allow the high school students to come in. She would at, at the McDonald's, like she would allow them to come in, you know, cause McDonald's is right down the street from me. And so was the high school. So she would allow the students to come in, but she would not allow them to sit in there and eat. That's fine. That's your business, but you will not be doing that to my daughter. So she did it to my daughter. And it wasn't only just that, that she did to my daughter. We got into an altercation with her one time because she had my daughter sitting down there this was in the evening for like 35 40 minutes waiting on fries and the fries have been done she didn't never give them to her she gave them to her cold my daughter asked for some fresh fries after waiting 35 45 minutes and you want to give her some cold fries she was like this is what you get girl she called me i came down there she called my daughter a bitch my daughter almost jumped behind the couch i had to yoke her up and not only that but i see how you treat these kids you you making them sit outside on the pavement or on the ground to eat their food that they just purchased from you so i had to call corporate you know what I'm saying? And not only that, but I've also had it in with her through the drive-thru. She getting smart, the drive-thru, and it's trying to slam the window in my face. Girl, listen, I had to jump up. I'm about to drag you through the fucking window. Nobody likes her. You know what I had to do? I had to call corporate and complain. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Guess what? She got transferred to another store. And guess what? After that, she also got fired from that store because of her attitude. So this is what I be talking about. Sometimes women take these titles and probably men too, but I've never felt that experience like that from a man boss, but from a female, I've noticed that in person, personable, personal work and in businesses that I've, you know, went into in establishments. Women, they seem like when they get a little title, I don't give a fuck if it's shift lead at McDonald's, they feel like they are high, mighty above you and feel like they can talk to you any old type of way. And I've seen how this young lady was handling people at McDonald's and this is not what we're going to do. So I had to handle her because it's either I'm going to one, two piece you and you're going to fall into that fry grease or I'm going to call corporate on you and I'm going to hurt you where it really hurts. So now you ain't got a job and I'm pretty sure you found a job elsewhere, but I had to call corporate on her and everything changed after I called corporate. Now children, children, now the kids, the teens are allowed to go into McDonald's and eat their food, but I didn't find it fair. You, you bought something, but you don't let me eat in this establishment, girl, bye. I'm going to fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if you are the CEO. I'm going to call whoever and I'm going to find out where I can make this complaint to. I get that you are angel. I get that you don't want to lose your job. I get that you, you know, you need your job. We all need a job, but do you need disrespect? And do you need to go to work every day and feel like, you, you know what I'm saying, you being miserable and you being talked down to? Let me tell you something. If I were you, I will complain now and I will put in a complaint and I will get banned with everybody else in my work and get a petition to get her removed. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do because if you don't do it the proper channel the proper ways and go through the proper channels what's going to happen is this you're going to explode one day and you're probably going to knock the shit out of her and she might as well deserve it she might be very deserving of it as the way that the, after reading this email i can tell that she's probably really deserving of it but to protect your own self and not end up going to jail over no fucking tired ass bitch what i would do is I would fucking record her, but I would also give her the same fucking attitude and energy she giving me back. Okay, you give me that energy, bitch, I'm going to give you the same energy. Because sometimes you got to stop them in their tracks. Sometimes you got to open your mouth and say something. And I'm pretty sure there's other targets. And sweetheart, can't, nobody can't get you fired but your fucking self, okay? That bitch can't get you fired because I'm pretty sure if she went to anybody to get you fired, I'm pretty sure you got ample enough co-workers to back your ass the fuck up to speak up for you and you not get fired, okay? But what I will do is I will not be putting up with no, no nobody else shit. Like, th this me, like, I try to be humble to everybody and I try to pe treat people the same way that I would want to be treated in return. But bitch, if you cross me, then we're going to have a problem. Straight facts. If you cross me and you continuously be disrespectful to me, like I told you, you got one time, then you got twice. But the third time, this is when I'm going to have to let you know that and either I'm going to leave you alone, I'm going to ghost you, and we no longer going to be friends, or I'm going to blow the fuck up on you, okay? But when we're talking about work, we're not friends at work. We're not friends. So therefore, I'm not giving you one, two, three chances. You got one time to disrespect me and talk to me like I ain't shit at work, and I'm going to let you know about yourself, okay? As a grown woman, I feel this way. And yeah, we all need income. We all need money. We all need a job. But I am not about to take just any old thing from any old body just to consume income that's one thing that i will not do my respect and the respect that you give me is what is needed here because this job will still be here after the day that i'm gone okay because i'll take my ass somewhere else and get another job but why i have to find another job girl angel a bitch 
put that bitch in her place and let her know. Same energy she give you is the same energy I will give her back. And I surely will be taking a petition around and getting her ass fired or getting her ass removed. Main thing is you need to get her removed and y'all need to be recording her. Like y'all really need to record her and show the higher ups how she really be treating people. Shit, a bitch like me and wait for her after work in the parking lot and be like, what's really good? Okay, like what's what's up and what's really good? Because I feel like you got a problem with me. And this is me. And I might not even wait into the parking lot. Sweetheart, we can go into the break room and I'll let you know. And I will handle you right then and there. I, we, we ain't got to put, I ain't got to put no pause on you. However, I'm going to let you know what time it is. But if you try to put the pause or you get a little mouthy and jump up in my face, sweetheart, we're going to have a problem. And there ain't no way on hell I would allow anybody to tell me to lose some motherfucking weight. Y'all know what I told y'all the last time somebody emailed me talking about, oh, you gained some weight, bitch. You ain't got to tell me because I know I gained some weight. I don't need you telling me. I look at my motherfucking self every goddamn day. I don't need nobody to tell me that I done gained some weight. I look at myself 24 hours a day. You think you be the first to know that I gained weight? No, sweetheart. You be the last to know, okay? But I wouldn't allow nobody to talk to me like that and I damn sure wouldn't allow nobody to disrespect me and tell me, well, if I lost a few pounds and walked around the store more and it, then I would know where things were. Girl, bye. Mm -mm. No, sweetheart. Boo-boo. Make sure you tell Anna what time it is. That same energy she give you Give it to her back, sweetheart. And pull out your phone and record her. And who gives a damn? Who gives a goddamn if she knows that you recorded her? I wish a bitch would, okay? I don't know about y'all, but work is work. We don't come to work to be disrespected. And as an adult, we don't be bullying people. I think that's so pathetic when you have like this little title and you feel like you're on top of the world or you feel like you're better than anybody. You should always feel on top of the world about yourself, regardless of what you do. But don't feel like you're better than somebody because your title is a little bit better than this. Sweetheart, you doing the work that other people don't want to do. Because I'd be damned if I was a supervisor or a manager at any job. I wouldn't want to be a supervisor or a manager in no job. Hell no. Okay, I was already asked to be a supervisor at Fidel's and I was like, no, I don't want to tell nobody what to do. I don't want to work harder for you, okay, and make the same amount of money. I don't want to do the shit that y'all don't want to do. I don't want to do that, okay? I am pretty fine doing what the fuck I've been doing, okay? But it's sad when people get these titles and they feel like they better than you. Sweetheart, you got 50 cent more. You you got like 50 cent more than when I got on the paycheck. Bitch, you're not special. You know better than nobody else. Target ain't giving you no breaks. Target ain't giving you no bonuses. Target ain't giving you no free shit, okay? Target don't really give a shit about you. All right, let's just be for real. It's Target. I don't give a damn if it was Walmart. I don't give a damn if it was Trump Towers. I don't really care. It's about respect. Everybody in this world deserves respect. And when you've grown, that means you mature. And when you mature, that means you should know better. And bitch, if you don't know better, then I'm here to teach you. Period. Okay? Now, on that note, leave what y'all would do down below for Angel because I'm pretty sure she ain't the first one who's been talked down to or been disrespected by an employer or a place of business. But how long ha are you going to deal with this is the main concern, okay? Because I'm sorry, I wouldn't allow anybody to disrespect me. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Check the description box. I hope you guys have like an amazing day. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this solar eclipse pissed me off wasn't it a bit of darkness or anything like that um i will leave the link down below for the amazon registry i hope you guys have an amazing day i love you all stay blessed stay diva and divalicious let angel know in the comments how you would handle this circumstance and i will see y'all in the next one deuces